What up, Roche here. Uh, I just woke up from going a night out, and the plan for today is to visit a new bookstore that just opened in the city. Uh, I saw I saw the interior yesterday. It looks pretty sweet, so that's what I'm gonna do. And after that, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna edit some videos in the Starbucks uh, because it's a place there are a lot of people, and I'm kind of sick of just doing it on the couch or in my room by myself. So yeah, I'll update, I'll update you guys later. Peace. So yeah, I'm leaving my house now to go and see the new bookstore. Hope it's, I saw from the outside, look pretty cool. So yeah, see you guys in the bookstore. bigger than the old store uh, it kind of feels like it's missing its distinctive colors like the purple and the white and they kind of I don't know they still they still got a little pink thing going on here but it looks cool it's really cramped in here also and I kind of like the interior if they like left the ventilation shafts and everything like open for everybody to see so I don't know some people don't like that but I think that's pretty cool so you can kind of see like how the building is basically yeah made so yeah I'm gonna check out some books see you guys later So yeah, that was the opening of Pavon. Wasn't really expecting that much of a crowd though. I was expecting just a normal day, just get some books, get out there and just work on editing my videos. But this was cool too. They're like uh, reading, live shows and everything. So it's kind of a nice surprise. So right now I'm uh, off to the Starbucks where I'm gonna edit some of my videos. See you there. What up? So 
the chains and plants. I've basically been too busy with everything that I kind of forgot to eat. So right now I'm heading to the food camp company to get a salad with salmon, I think. Ah, we'll see when we get there. So yeah, peace. So yeah, right now I'm uh, at the eat company, just waiting for my salad. Uh, I just came from the Pagman book opening. And a lot of people don't really know this from me, but I'm kind of a geek when it comes to books. Like, everything with words and letters on it, I basically read it. And it was quite a surprise to see that many people there, because it, it kind of, it feels really cool that a lot of people are still into books, because right now you got like, you got ebooks, you got television, everything, all this stimulation that basically, you know, in some means give you the same information, but in other means it doesn't. And it also has a lot of disadvantages because uh, you don't really need a lot of stimulation when you're reading books or you don't really get a lot of stimulation and because of that you can uh, concentrate on a lot of other things. So I know, I know even some people that kind of use like reading to meditate or something to make themselves go present. So there are really a lot of advantages to reading books and it always Kind of, I, I, I always find it, found it kind of odd to see, to hear that people don't read books because basically, what is in a book? It's basically like the life experience of someone, maybe 10 years or 20 years compressed in like maybe 50 to 100 pages. So it's like 50 to 100 pages of wisdom that can help you on your journey for just like 10 or 15 euros. So it always felt kind of weird when people said to me like they don't read books because books are the most awesome things ever so let's say you have a problem with reading books or you don't like reading books uh, most of the time uh, it comes to uh, a certain couple of reasons for example a lot of people that don't read books uh, they don't start to read just because they think they can't finish the books. And here's a little news flash: like uh, most books, they have like two or three elements that are really important, and everything uh, around it is basically just written so that people don't really feel cheated when they buy a $15 book and it's just three pages. So that's why they have like the more pages. So. Basically, if you're not really comfortable or you don't really have the time to read a lot of books, uh, just uh, follow like the, as a friend call, calls of mine, the GTTFP method. And basically what the GTTFP method is, is like, it means get to the fucking point. So, uh, kind of, it's something that Ty Lopez in, introduces basically like when you read a book, uh, you read it like three times. So the first time you read like uh, the front and the back. So you get like a general idea of what the book is about. And you should tell your time. So if the book is not about something that can help you, or it's not something that basically is in the 20% that gets you the 80% of the results you need to achieve your goal, don't read it. So that's like the first step. Uh, the second step is to read like uh, the first, or no, it's like to read like uh, all the titles of the chapters because maybe like some chapters don't really have that value for you and others will. So in that case, you don't have to read all the chapters because that's also a big uh, misconception that people have when they're reading books. They think they have to start at the start and just finish it, but you can start where you want. It's basically, the book is there to give you knowledge, so you can choose where you begin to start. So that's the next part, just read the names of the chapters. And then the third part is to read the first chapter, because most of the information, or the most essential information of the book is probably in the first chapter. When you've done that, you go to the final level. That's basically uh, read from every chapter the beginning and the ending. Because most of the time, the beginning uh, gives you an introduction, so you get like insight about what the chapter is about. If you don't uh, really have that clear 
when you read like the title of the chapter and then you have like uh, the end of the chapter and at the end of the chapter is basically like a summary of basically what's in the chapter so that kind of gives you easily an idea to uh, about about what the book's about and it's like Normally I didn't do this. Normally I just read a book from start to finish, and it basically wasted a lot of time. But then, but then uh, I talked to a friend of mine in the train, and uh, I told him about this book called like The One Thing. And basically, what the one thing is about is a book that says uh, that multitasking is impossible, and you basically, uh, how would I say it? You. Uh, have to do just you have to just put your focus on one thing because if your focus is divided you basically waste a lot of time so I said it to him and I said after that like uh, you need to read the book and he's like why do I need to read the book you just told me what it's about and now I can apply it so it's basically just as easy as that you might not internalize everything that you've read but you've got the basic information that can help you achieve your results and it will probably be there somewhere in your reticular activation system so when you need it you basically bring the information to the front and you can use it so that's all for now that's all i had to say peace Ik heb het gezegd, 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 ik heb het gezegd